Hello and welcome to this customer request tech tip provided by Imaginic Technologies. My name is Rusty Belcher and I'm going to be working through this tech tip with you today. In this tech tip, we're going to be taking a look at utilizing the copy object and sculpt commands to do typical or classic Boolean operations on our inventor components. Now what I have here is a simple example. I've got a couple of T-bars and a disk part sitting on a piece of plate. And to start off our demonstration, I want to run an interference analysis on all my components. So I'm just going to shift select all of these parts. And we're going to run an interference analysis. Here we can see that the parts do interfere. And I remember in classic AutoCAD modeling practice, we actually used to be able to solve for an interference and then immediately subtract the interference from an existing solid body. And I'm going to do the same thing in Inventor, but I'm going to use the copy object and the sculpt command to do it. So let's go ahead and get started with this particular process. Now, let's take a look at the situation here. In this example, the blue T-bar needs to be cut or notched in way of the red T-bar. The red T-bar is continuous and the blue T-bar is intercostal. So I need to modify the blue T-bar. I'm going to double click on the component, activate it, and make my edits. Now here's where I'm going to use the copy object command. You'll find the command right here. You don't see a lot of people utilize copy objects. Not a very popular command but it can do some pretty amazing things. I'm going to start copy object and the command actually lets you copy other components into your current design as a surface or solid body. So I'm going to select the red T-bar in this case and for this example I want to import it as a surface into the blue T-bar. Now for this design I basically have locked down the, the locations of these T-bars and I don't expect them to move anywhere. So I'm going to choose in this case to make this an unassociative relationship. So I'm going to uncheck associative. I'll click OK and you can see the surface that's been added to our blue T-bar. Now I'm going to utilize the sculpt command to make the cutout. I'm going to start the sculpt command and I'm going to pick the object that I want to use as my sculpting object. Now you can see immediately that you can do a join or a subtract or, or a cut. I'm going to select cut and in this case it actually is cutting away the wrong material. Now there is a little green node right in the middle here and you can select the middle part or the opposite end and change which uh, material will be cut away. And if you can't access that little green node you can expand the dialog box and make that choice here. So now that the right material is highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and select OK, and you can see that the blue T-bar is notched in way of the red T-bar. Now I know we can do this with the frame generator, Inventor's frame generator is a fantastic tool, but as an example of a simple Boolean operation between two existing components, this is a great chance for us to utilize copy object and the sculpt command. Now, I also want to uh, remove the material in way of the disk from the blue T-bar. So let's go ahead and repeat our command. We'll select copy object, and this time I'm going to select the disk. Now, in this example, I do expect the disk to move. Later on in our example, I'll move the disk and hopefully show you that these cutouts are associative and they will update automatically. So I'm going to leave the associative option checked and we'll click OK. So I brought it in as a surface and again I'm going to use the sculpt command. I'll select cut and in this case the correct material is going to be cut away. So we've got our blue T-bar notched out. Let's click return and take care of the red T-bar. Just repeat the command here with copy object as a surface We'll bring it over associatively and we'll use the sculpt command to cut out that material. So if I click return, let's go ahead and run an interference analysis again. Let's select our parts, check for interference, and this time we have no interferences detected. Excellent. Now, 
Let's go ahead and show you the uh, associative nature of this cutout. You'll notice that my blue T-bar and the red T-bar both have the uh, adaptive icon now against those parts. And I'm going to come down here. I actually have a constraint that's locking my disk in place. And I'm going to suppress that constraint so I can move it. Now, as I move it, watch the cutout. As soon as I let go, you'll see the cutout automatically update to suit. So I can place it over here. And I don't know, let's jump into the blue T-bar so that you can see the cutout automatically update for that. We'll click Return and move it again. And this time, I'm let's drag it over here a little bit more. Let's go ahead and look at the red T-bar and see how that cutout automatically is affected by simply moving the component. And that is the benefit of adaptive components in way of this Boolean operation. Let's go ahead and finish up by uh, unsuppressing our constraint, putting it back at the center, and we'll finish it up there. So I hope you can see how utilizing copy object and sculpt can allow you to create these adaptive Boolean situations between your inventor components. Thanks for taking this time and going through this tech tip with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your local Imaginate Technologies support representative.